Okay everyone, so this is the menu for the Denon X4500 home theater receiver. I think that th this receiver is um, really nice. Um, I, I do like the sound quality a lot of it. It's, it's really, really super clear. Um, but it does have an issue that for me, it's a total deal breaker. So over here, I am running this in 9.1 channel mode right now. So I just wanted to show that and point it out because the issue that I'm experiencing is with the all channel stereo mode or all channel speaker mode or I forget exactly what they call it on this receiver, but I just want to show you that this is how I have my speakers set up. So the front is set to large, okay? The center is set to small. The surrounds, the surround backs are all set to large, okay? Front heights are set to small. Now I'm gonna go back again on the menu and I just wanna show the base over here, okay? So the base has two options. LFE. Okay, now when you select LFE, it's going to play the low range LFE signals, and which is the 0.1 channel. Okay, so it's going to play the 0.1 channel, and it's also going to play the base of any speakers that are set to small. Now, keep in mind that. The speakers that were set to small is my center channel and my height channels. So technically it's three speakers that are set to small. Now what you can do is you can put it to LFE plus main. So now it's going to play the low range and the LFE signals of all channels. Now that just, it kind of sounds wrong because it sounds muddy. So basically what you're doing is, you know, you're kind of, adding the bass into speakers that really just don't need it. Now over here you have the crossover. So just so you could see it, this is you know the crossover that you could pick to uh, filter out the low frequencies. So I had it set right over here at 200. Um, I'm gonna go back now. Let me see, is that the right button on the, the remote? Gotta, oh, gotta press that first and then this. Okay, so. I'm just going to go back up to speaker configuration again just so you can see it one more time. Okay, so the, again, the front speakers are large. And there's no doubt the front speakers that I'm using are large speakers, tower speakers. So I would never, ever, ever, ever want to set them to small. Um, and you could see my front heights are also small again. So let's go back over here. Oh, we've got to hit this first to confirm it. Go back and... Now for the problem, which is when I go here. So what I have right now is Spotify. So Spotify is on right now and it's playing, okay? So multi-channel stereo. This is the all speaker stereo mode, okay? I'm gonna get the uh, display up. Okay, so what just happened here? One channel subwoofer. Okay, so LFE plus main is not something that I want to keep on. So I'm going to put it so that the subwoofer is used for the LFE and it is used for the speakers that are set to small. I'm trying to go back here on the remote. Oh no, I got to press that again. I always forget. So again, my speaker configuration. The front are large. I would never want my front speakers set to small because they are large speakers that are in the front, tower speakers. Um, so my small is the center and the, oop, go back down, the front height. So that's three speakers that need the bass sent to the sub. So here's my issue. Let me go back. Oh, no, we're gonna hit this. Then that. Okay, let me go back again. Okay. Let me go here. 
Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I am playing Spotify, but I don't have the volume on because of YouTube. It's going to flag it that it's, you know, music is playing and, you know, it's going to screw everything up. So I have it set to the multi channel stereo mode, which is like all channel stereo mode, all speaker mode, you know, anything you want to call it. Um, Pretty much most receivers for the past, I don't even know how many years now, have had a all channel stereo mode. And this is a mode where you can listen to music or anything that you want that is two channel and it's going to come out of all your speakers. So now here's the problem. Okay, so we're set to multi channel stereo and now I'm going to show you the display. This receiver, for some reason, the blue boxes are showing you every speaker that's active right now, okay? The subwoofer is not active. Now this is the input signal, which is coming from Spotify, which is uh, coming from a Roku device. Oh, it took itself off. Okay, so you can see front left, front right, two channel audio up here, uh, PCM, multi-channel stereo, Again, the subwoofer is off. Now, this subwoofer should be turned on, and it should be turned on based on the simple fact, let me get the menu back up, that, where is it again? Uh, I think it was here. Speakers manual setup. Okay, again, the center channel is small and the front height speakers are small. Okay. And <laughs> the bass is set to LFE mode. And when you do that, the bass from any speaker that's set to small is gonna be sent over to the sub. Now what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna point out one more thing. I'm gonna go to the crossover. Okay, so you can see here my center channel is set to 90 hertz, okay? 90 hertz, anything underneath that is going to be sent over to the sub. My front heights, 90 hertz again. Why? <laughs> Why on earth is this receiver turning off the sub during multi-channel stereo? And as you can see, the subwoofer is off. Now what I'm going to do just for the sake of it is I'm going to just pick something else. Let's go uh, to Rock Arena mode. And let's see, Rock Arena. Again, subwoofer. Subwoofer is still turned off. Let's pick another mode. Now, actually, I'm going to, let's see, virtual. There's a few of them. So let's go here to Dolby Audio. You go to Dolby Audio, and now look, subwoofer is turned on. We still got the same input signal, two channels playing. Let's go over here to DTS Neural. And I love that for 5.1 signals and up. I think it sounds fantastic for the uh, surround back speakers. Um, where is the button again here it is okay so on DTS normal subwoofer is active <laughs> I mean this is just let's go to Oro 3D again subwoofer is active there is something about um, let's try this Oro I don't I don't even remember if this has a subwoofer on yet yeah, subwoofer is on again but the uh, front height left and the front height right are now turned off with this mode. Okay, let's go back to the multi-channel stereo. Yeah, subwoofer is turned off. How bizarre. <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand it because I spent a lot of time trying to figure it out and I was changing the menu configuration and I was doing all that stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, it just turns it off. I mean, let's just see Let's see what Matrix does, you know, just as another one, just to see. Um, again, subwoofer's turned off. The subwoofer should be turned on because it's playing my front, height, left, 
height right, and center, which are all set to small. Absolutely bizarre. <laughs> um, and I know that they have a whole bunch of other receivers that have a similar menu, similar surround sound mode, so I'm guessing all of them have this um, thing. <laughs> I, I, don't even, I, I don't even know what to call it. Is this some kind of a glitch, or is this just something that, you know, the... Um, what is it, the manufacturer, uh, Denon, decided, okay, you know, we're going to turn off the sub, even when it should be on. Let me see if I can go back to the menu. Now, there was something else. Where was it over here? Manual, I think. Uh, Two-channel playback. Now, when you go to two-channel playback, you see, you could actually set this for if, if you're only listening to it out of two speakers, Okay. So it's LFE plus main in two channel mode. Right now, if you do LFE only, it's not going to change anything back here. Because I thought maybe it would, but it doesn't. Let me pull that back up on the screen. See? Subwoofer is still out. <laughs> 